I have new spring products to share with you guys. What should we start with? I think, I think I'm gonna start with my purses because I'm super excited for them. So first, I have my new Window Shopper LTD. So this is in the slate. And I, slate? No, is it slate? Hmm, now I'm like confused. <laughs> I will double check before I tell you. Stone, I was close, I knew it wasn't slate. This is in the stone, oh, happens to all of us. So this is a stone and I did get the stone personalization as well. So you can kind of get the idea of what that looks like together. It is so pretty. This is one of those prints that like, we weren't sure if it was like gray or if it was kind of purpley pinkish. And it is, it, it does have like a definite purpley pinkish tone to it. It is just gorgeous. And I love of course the, the two different strap options. That way I can carry it the way I feel like doing at the time. And the long one is detachable of course as well. It has that great front pocket, just like the, the regular window shopper, the one that's not in full leather. And then it does have the cell phone pocket at the back as well, which is super handy. Then on the inside, we've got a zipper pocket. Oh, and I zipped it up instead of unzipping it. <laughs> we've got a zipper pocket right there, which is quite spacious. You can definitely fit quite a bit in there. And then I've also got in here my new matching Benjamins. How pretty is it? Oh, I just love this color. I'll give you like an idea of in the in the light and not in the light so you guys can get a really good idea. And then I also have one of our new mini key fobs. So I think this is the always on key fob. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to just refer to it as mini key fob because it's a mini key fob and that's an easier name to remember. But the thing that I really loved about it was that the ring on this end is the ones that you can like attach to things. So I think that's great. I might attach it to, to the D-rings on my on my purse. I did notice I can just go like this and just clip it on here. But if I, I could just take and, yeah, I can just take and clip it right onto the D-ring instead of using the this one. But how cool is that? I can just like attach it and it's like stuck on my purse. I can tuck it into here and not have to worry about it falling out. And I can tuck it into the inside pocket if I left it open. I did. I can just tuck it in there. And then it's just nicely secured, right? So that if I'm kind of rushing through the checkout or whatever and I'm like grab my wallet and take it out and pay real quick and then if I'm like kind of like shuffling and I'm not sure whatever I could be like ah, and like put it in if I miss it's like hot and not gonna fall and I can put it on the front into the pocket and not have to worry about it falling out of there because it's attached I just love that and then I also have a new photo key fob coming to match it as well I'm super excited for that. Uh, I got one of my girls, it might be their Christmas picture. I can't remember what picture I got. I think it might be their Christmas one that I got on there. And it's gonna match this set as well. So I'm super excited for that. And then I can show you the inside the Benjamin real quick, just in case any of you don't have one yet. We have all these lovely card slots and a little spot here for your receipts or whatever you need to be carrying. And then we have spaces here, here, and here. And then of course, a coin pocket, and then more card slots back here. So you can have all the loyalty cards you ever wanted with a Benjamin's wallet. It is gorgeous and amazing, and I love that you can just zip it all shut and contain it inside, and you don't have to worry about anything falling out of it. And now with my cute little key, key fob, I don't have to worry about it falling out either. So I love that. Super cute, I'll kind of sit back so you get a better view one more time before I set it aside. We're going to move on to the step up tote and so i got this one in black these are the two that i unbagged already because i really wanted to see them and i'm trying to debate which one i should use first because these two i got both for me so i'm trying to decide which one to use first so let me know in the comments below which one you think is best the step up tote or the window shopper which one should i try out first because I don't like switching back and forth too often, and because I have a wallet for both of them, it will involve switching wallets, and I'm... That's not me, I'm too lazy for that. So, <laughs> I need to pick one at least for a month or so and stick with it. So here is the step-up tote. So it's definitely bigger than the window shopper, which I thought it would be too big for me, but I kind of like it. It's a nice size. Give me an idea. And it does also have the same two straps, but 
the straps on this one are not detachable like they are on the window shopper. You have to keep both of them on, which for me isn't a problem because I keep them on anyway. And then of course we have a nice big pocket in the front and this one has a zipper, which is great if you're carrying anything that you might drop or whatever. And it's a big pocket, like it goes all the way down to the bottom here. Hey Jessica, thanks for hopping on. And then it zips shut, so much space there. And then of course in the back, we also have our cell phone pocket. And then the inside we have, oh, it's already unzipped. We have this nice big pocket here too. So much space. There's no flat pockets in either of these purses, but great zipper pockets, right? Which I think is more important. Cause then, I mean, if you don't want the zipper, you can leave it open, but having the, a nice zipper pocket in there is just really nice. I'll kind of give you an idea of inside wide open lots of space in there and then i have the beautiful peaches benjamin oh i'm so excited for this i gotta tell you this is just it is like nicer in person than i imagined it would be i really debated getting which one was it one of the purses one of the purses comes in the peaches and i was like oh i love the peaches i think that getting a person it would be nice but i wasn't sure if it'd be like too much you know it's a lot of peaches getting a whole purse <laughs> So I wasn't sure if I would like them enough to get the whole purse, but I think that I would probably love it. They are gorgeous. And then, of course, this is just the Benjamin's wallet, just like the other one. No, it's upside down, but super cute. All that faux leather on the inside, too. I just think that it's cute. And, like, look at this set together. Ah, they go so nice. It's got, like, the little matching caramel. I think that they're gorgeous together. That's why I decided to grab this step-up tote, because I was like, what can I get the wallet with that'll match? And as much as I love the slate, I was pretty sure that the, the wallet wouldn't be like the best match for it. And I still, yeah, it's not, not the best matches together, but I wish that they went together. Cause I was like, I want the slate purse and I want the peach wallet, but yeah, they don't go all together. So that's okay. I will stick with these ones, but be sure to let me know what you think. Which one should I start with? The step up tote or should I start with, yeah, with the window shopper? Let me know what you think. They are both super cute, that's for sure. I will definitely be using both of them this spring and summer. I just don't know which one I'm going to start with. Okay, so before I put this away, I wanna show you the half moon pouch in the Canyon Weave, because this is another one of those prints that was kind of like, we don't know if it's taupe, is it pink, is it purple? We didn't know what it was. So it's kind of got that, that purpley undertone. And it pairs really well with the stone. You see, like they kind of have the same, the same undertone, it's getting darker in here. So it's harder to tell, but they match really well. So I'm gonna say that it's not really super taupey. I mean, it is, it's, it's really difficult because the lighting just makes it different, right? I mean, it's definitely kind of taupe, but it's also definitely has like a pink tinge to it. It's not something my husband would be like, oh yeah, that's manly, definitely not. It's. It definitely has like a pinky purple color to it. <laughs> and so here's the inside, nice and big, opens wide. Great for all those little things you need to carry with you and just super cute little shape, that half moon. Yeah, half moon shapes are just so in right now. Give you an idea of the, the weave that has got on it. Super cute. So I definitely love it. And I think that it matches really, really well with the stone. Next one I want to show you is our new half moon card wallet okay. and this is in the lemongrass which i was also really excited to to try out because i just wasn't sure what i would think of it i'm not a super super green person i guess i should use this today it would have been perfect for saint patrick's day but like look how cute that is it's like just so tiny and cute but even the color like that is gorgeous for a green i'm not a green person but that is like a gorgeous green. It really is. Let's have a look on the inside. Oh, and it does have, I didn't open these and take everything off yet, but it does have a little lobster claw there too. So you can clip it right to your bag or whatever you're carrying. And then the inside, it's got all these little things in there. Get rid of all those. It has the two little pouches for your cards. And then a nice little spot in the middle to add extra stuff. It definitely has more space than the, the traveler wallet. You can definitely fit more in there. It's a little thicker, but it's super cute and just like so tiny. 
I don't know that it would like quite fit in a pocket. Whereas the traveler one, if you're like somebody who likes to put their wallet in their pocket, it would definitely fit. But I don't recommend sticking this in your pocket. You would get really squished for one thing. <laughs> but it also, it's, kind of, it's a little large for a pocket wallet. But super cute. Love it. Let me know what you think. Hey mom, thanks for hopping on. What do we have next? You'll have to watch it from the, the beginning later so you can tell me which purse. Well, I know which purse you're going to pick. The one of them is kind of purple. You're definitely just going to tell me that one. <laughs> so here I have our small essentials tote. This one is in the Painted Dot Trio, which is just pretty. Oh, it's another one of my favorite prints. How cute is that? Look at those colors. It's so fun and bright. I love fun, bright spring and summer prints. Come fall, I'm ready for all the dark tones again. But in the spring, I'm like, yes, bring it on. So here we go. So this is just like our essentials tote, but just a little smaller. Give you an idea of the size of it. Super cute. I know I grabbed this one as an Easter basket. I love the idea of using Easter baskets that are reusable. Last year we used the tiny totes and then they became little storage caddies in my girl's room. So I love that. Super cute. Tiny. This print is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to check and see what else it comes in. I wonder if it comes in the fresh market because I think that that would be really cute. Um, next I have our journey backpack. Mom, this is actually your journey backpack. It got here today. So I'll kind of give you an idea. It looks, it's very similar to the step up tote in the style of it. Matches it very well. We have the faux leather up here too. You know, it's all covered up right now, but and yeah, it does have that nice big pocket on the front that goes all the way down to the bottom here. So like this whole piece here is a pocket. It is huge. And then it has this great little D-ring here to clip things to, whether it's like that little mini wallet, and then you can leave this open and like tuck it in here. That'd be a great idea. Something like that, or whatever you need to clip on there. You could even grab one of the, the photo key fobs and clip it on there, so then that way you have a little cute little photo on the front. And then of course it has the little water bottle holders on the side, like every backpack ever, right? Backpack straps on the back, you know, the usual. Then on the inside, we have, dun, 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 a thermal pocket. How amazing is that? And it's a good size pocket too, whether you want to use it for a thermal or not. But I love that it has a thermal still. That's something they carried over from the Adventures backpack. And there you go. Just a backpack on the inside. It is quite large. Um, I definitely had a couple people asking about fitting laptops in there. My laptop is about a 15 inch and it fits just fine. I put that in there with a two inch binder and they fit really, really well. So if you're using it for school or anything like that. Idea, the size, just like our adventures backpack. It's a uh, kind of like very versatile. It'll fit you as a mom or a student, but also like my girls have the adventures backpack and the size is quite similar. So a, a child could use it just as easily. It's kind of a little bit less child looking, I would say. It's more of a grown up looking backpack than the adventures one was but I mean if your child likes this or it also comes in the camo too so I mean I'm sure there will definitely be children who like the camo right but super cute love it that is the journey backpack next up I have one of our fold away totes which I'm sure you've all seen me share before because I just love these but I grabbed this one in the sunlight stripe because I wanted to be able to show off the print, and I don't think I grabbed this print in anything else, so I wanted to grab it in this one just to show it off. It is so fun and bright. Another great print for St. Patrick's Day today. <laughs> All the green today. And then on here we have Every Day is Earth Day. Super cute. And in case you are one of the few who haven't seen these before, what is amazing about this reusable bag is that you can just quickly stick it all in here. And I didn't have this opened up. Nope. There's tape on there. There's a little, a little bead that slides down here and holds it into a little ball. But then you have your little bag and it's easy to tuck into one of your totes or your purse, anything like that. Leave it in your car. And when you need a bag, you just like pull it out real quick. I have one of these in like every purse because I always go somewhere and never bring enough bags. And it's a really decent sized shopping bag. 
you can fit quite a lot in there. Definitely more than you would think by looking at it. I use them all the time. Next, I have our zipper pouch. And this is in our new, not new. Yeah, well, kind of new. New because we don't have soft camo and anything else. But we do have it in the masks. So it's not new, new, but it is new to most of the products. So this is our soft camo. And so you can get like the journey backpack and that step up tote in this camel. And I'm sure those are going to be like super, super popular. But look how big this is. Like if you've never seen one of the, the zipper pouches before, they are big. I usually use the mini ones. So I know the first time that I, I got one of the zipper ones, I was the, zip, the big ones, they're both zipper ones, but one of the big ones, I was like, well, that's a huge pouch. You can fit a lot in there. These are great for diaper bags, among other things. Perfect to carry all that little stuff in there. Even like if you wanted to use it for like dirty clothes or whatever, having a baby, the inside's kind of like wipeable. So I feel like it would wash rel relatively well if that's what you're gonna do with it. Next up, I have our clear clip pouch. So this is another product that's not a new product, but I got it in the new print. How cute are these fish? Oh my goodness. I don't remember what this is called, the print. Um, Finny Friends, there you go. I know it's something to do with fish. I'm like, I'm just calling it blue fish. There, no idea. So this has the clip on the side. And then the inside has, a, it's a thermal pocket. So it's great if you wanna take it to the park or the beach. You can stick some little things in there along with like a, maybe a, a freezer pouch and then they'll keep it cold or even just whatever you bring with you. I use one for like a little first aid kit kind of thing and stick all that in there. And then your phone will work through this clear pouch here, which is great, especially for things like the pool and the beach, places it might get wet. You can just stick it in there. But even just to like attach onto your backpack or whatever when you're going somewhere and then you can just like type on your phone real quick. You don't have to like take it all the way out. Still super convenient that way. And again, how cute. Oh, it does have this pocket on the back too. How cute are these fish? Well, I need to get the fish personalization because it's really cute too. And I did not get any of this stuff personalized. Next, I have a couple of our snack and go pouches. Grab a couple of them just to show the different, um, the different prints. So again, I have our dot trio and I have the peaches. So this is the peaches in the fabric. I did show my wallet before. I can kind of show you the difference between the fabric peaches and the faux leather. Just so you can see how they pair together. They just look a little bit different. The The white on them is kind of like the biggest difference, I would say, because on here it kind of looks a little creamier than it does on the fabric. But, anywho, these are amazing reusable little snack pouches. And I would say little, but I mean they're... They're pretty big. If you had our, what are they called? Our Cool Zip Snackers. Those are a fair bit smaller than these. Like, these are very large. These are definitely like adult size ones. You can even fit a whole sandwich in here. I've been told. I have not tried it. None of us eat sandwiches anywhere other than home. So I've never tried it. But they're great for grapes or any kind of snacks. Even if you like stick some granola bars and like different things like that. You can definitely fill it up and stick it in your tote or your purse or your road trip bag, whatever you're bringing with you. And then that way all your snacks are kind of like in a little pouch. Or maybe grab one for each of your kids and then that way you're like, this is your snacks and this is your snacks. And then you know what they ate so they don't be like, I didn't get any of the snacks. Because I'm sure I'm not the only mom who deals with that. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not. Okay, so next I have our New Horizons tote. And this one is in the new watercolor stripe. I'm excited to show this one off. Look at that! It is a very pretty neutral print. Get up close so you can see the details. It really does look like it's like watercolor, hey? So this is our new Horizon soap, which is not new. <laughs> they just kept new in the name. So I'll kind of, it's, it's a, a very wobbly bag to try to show without being full of stuff, but it is huge. This is like a great road trip bag, beach day bag, park bag. Anytime you have to like carry a whole bunch of stuff, this is like an amazing bag to do it with. I'll kind of try to show you 
oh, how big it is. Look at all that space in there. And then it does have these great handles on the side. So you can like carry it with these handles, especially if it's heavier, or if you just don't want to carry it on your shoulder, right? You have that option. I like when they give us the options of how to carry it. The other great things about it. Oh, I thought it had pockets on the side. It has pockets on the inside and it does have little ties to tie shut, depending on what you're carrying so you're not losing anything. But it does have this nice big pocket here. Then you can stick your keys and stuff in there, especially going to like the beach and stuff. And especially with a bag this big, right? I mean, you stick your keys in this bag and then it's time to go home and you're like, okay, let me find my keys underneath all these towels and kids clothes and kids toys, etc. It also does have a little clip there too. So you can clip on your wallet or your keys can clip onto that, anything like that. There you go, I'll kind of give you an idea. One more time of the size of this thing, it is huge. Huge and super cute. Love that print. It is another very nice new print. I'm being like overrun by plastic bags now. <laughs> Next up, I have one of our tiny totes. As I mentioned earlier that I used these last year for Easter and my girls love them. Now they have them holding all sorts of little things. They'd be great for holding DVDs or books too. And look at the sloths. Oh my goodness. These are already one of our top prints. That's for sure. Everybody is loving the sloth prints and the sloth personalization. And it's just so cute and tiny. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, they're great for DVDs or even like if you have a game system, they can hold the games in there. And depending on what you're filling it with and how full it is, you can even stack them. Like if you put it all full of DVDs, you can take and put another one on top too, just to save you some space there. So that's a great idea. I have a couple in my pantry and they hold like the, the little Epicure meal packets. And I have one that holds my Tupperware lids. So they go like in this way and then it just goes up on the shelf and I can take it down and, and grab the lid I need. But it keeps them from otherwise being wet stacked and then they're gonna like fall in crash everywhere and be a giant mess. Not what anybody needs. Next up I have our Deluxe Double Duty Caddy, which of course is not a new product, but I have it in the new Mystic Sky Gray. No, not Mystic Sky, just Mystic, Mystic Gray. Mystic Sky is the blue one. How pretty is this? Oh, I love it as a neutral print. I love it. I have a lot in the Stepping Stones, which is also a gray and white print, and I think that they'll look really nice together. So if you haven't seen our Deluxe Double Duty yet, this is one of my favorite products for organizing, like literally anywhere. Anywhere from like your car, your pantry, your bathroom, your office, literally anywhere you need to be able to like tidy up and store stuff. This is great. Like look at all that space there. You can use it like under your bathroom counter and stick all your, your hair products or all your cleaning products. Then you have like this big pouch here, which does Velcro shut. And then on this side, you have two big pockets as well that you can stick all sorts of stuff into. And then if you're using it for like hair products and stuff, you can stick maybe your blow dryer or your straight straightener in here, anything like that, all those littler things. I love it. Hey Lois, I'm glad you love it. This is definitely been one of my favorite like house prints, right? You know what I'm trying to say there? One of the ones that I use around the house. I try to pick more neutral ones. That way if I change up my decor, I don't have to be like, oh, well this clashes. <laughs> I don't want that. And I have to buy new ones. But then I would probably just hide these ones somewhere under the, the bathroom sink or something. I'm sure I'd find something to do with it. But I usually just try to buy the, the more neutral ones for around the house. Next up, I have a new product. This is our canvas storage caddy and it is only available in this natural canvas but I'm really excited for this. I think I'm going to use this as like a little gardening bag. I know I've seen them used for um, crafting and stuff but I think that it'll be perfect for gardening. It's got all these pockets on the outside and then the inside is just like wide open but it's got this great thick handle that I can just like carry everything around with. This pocket has a nice, or this side has a big pocket, this side also has a big pocket, and then this one is like a mega pocket, and then on this side it has the two littler pockets again. So I can fit so much stuff in there, and then just like, 
I put it all away in the little shed and then leave this in the shed. I can just take it out and it has all my little shovels and whatever little gardening things. This is the canvas storage caddy. And I wish it came in more. You can get it personalized too. I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to use it for, but now I'm wishing that I got some kind of cute little garden personalization added to it. But what can you do? Maybe I'll have to ask Amanda. She does personalization, so we will get her to personalize it now, but I don't my stand tall bin Susie gets things. <laughs> I got this stand tall bin for Georgia. I have to go show her after. I haven't showed her yet today. But she is going to be so excited because this is in the new Mystic Sky which as I just showed you the gray. So this is the same, except it's blue. Get it closer and kind of show you how pretty is that? Oh, she's gonna be thrilled. We've been waiting for like a nice blue, neutrally blue, but I mean, anything in a sand tallman. <laughs> That's not like gray, because that was basically all, other than the mermaids. I mean, Sophie has the mermaids, so Georgia didn't want mermaids. Pop it all up there. I should have grabbed a, oh. They didn't tape it all crazy. That was easy to do. Usually there's like so much tape around these things that they are really hard to take off. But I'll just show you how the sand pulpit works for those of you who don't have one. So you just take and pop these rods in there. And then there's like a little elastic here that you just take and pop on top of the rod and then you Velcro it. That way it can't fall out. It kind of just stays nice and tucked in there. I'm just gonna put the other ones in real quickly and not tuck them in, but that kind of shows you how it works. And then that way you don't have it like flopping out when you're moving it and doing laundry and stuff, right? It's not like popping out of there and having to be popped back in. That holds it in there really nice. I love these as laundry bins. We also have one in Sophie's room that holds all her stuffies. That way they're not all on her bed. I love that too. <laughs> I love that it gets them off her bed. Because I don't like making beds when there's 7,000 stuffies which is what making George's bed is like. So I try to just avoid making it. Either she does it or nobody does it. Because she's the one who wants all the stuffies. So here you go. The idea of the size. And I love the handles. If you have laundry in your basement or anything like that, it makes it so, this is kind of weird because it's not been used. Ours are much more bendable, but it, you just throw it in your shoulder and you can easily walk down the stairs or up the stairs carrying your laundry hamper. Whereas like, you know, with the big ones and you're like trying to like carry it and you're like, hopefully I don't miss a step and slip down. And if you're klutzy like me, <laughs> that's likely to happen. So here you go, I'll give you an idea of the color again. I'm gonna show you on the sides, it's not super, <laughs> super squished up from being folded, but super pretty, hey? She is gonna be thrilled. She was told to not come out of her bedroom, but I'm sure she's probably heard me saying I have something for her, so I'm sure she's excited already. Tap that to the side. So there's a couple more things we're gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you this one first. This is our <laughs> roundabout cooler tote. And this is in the navy pop. And this is one of the ones I did get first time. Cheers! I've seen so many personalizations for this, and since I got mine, I'm like, oh, I wish I got that one. But what can you do? Oh, I got this one, and it's still cute. Oh, good. I was like, well, that was really short. This extends. <laughs> there we go. So again, this one does have the two strap options. Kind of close it up so you can see how it fits and the size of it. I have seen someone measure this one with wine. It holds 10 wine bottles. So if that kind of gives you an idea of it compared to the Picnic Thermal, the Picnic Thermal holds six. So it is kind of like a step in between the Fresh Market and the Picnic. And now that I look at it, honestly, it's quite similar in size to the Fresh Market just because it's taller, right? Like the Fresh Market, I don't think I can fit a wine bottle in there because it's not tall enough for that. But super cute. Just like a little round, super adorable. And the inside of this one does also have eh, that leak lock lining in there. So you can add ice directly to it, which is great for things like camping and picnics, anything like that, where you are adding ice right in there. And it does have, as I drop it, it does have a nice 
big pocket on the front too to add your utensils or whatever to it. Super cute. I'm gonna have so many thermals. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my next thermal next. And that is the one I kind of showed a little bit on my Facebook yesterday and also on Instagram. But here you go, I'll show you the size one more time just so you can kind of see with someone holding it. I know I always like to be able to see it with a person to get an, a better idea of the size. So this next thermal I have to show you, this is one of our uh, insider or hostess exclusives. So what that means is to be able to get it, you need to host a party. What it also means is if you host a party and it reaches a thousand, you can get it for free. My shirt keeps getting untucked here and it's like driving me nuts. <laughs> like, ah, there we go. Look at it. This is our new roller thermal. How cute is it? And so I did get it personalized. And yes, it is the same. Is it Navy Pop? Yes. Navy Pop. Yeah. As I do have the other thermal in because I just love the Navy and these beautiful bright straps. So I'll kind of give you a peek at it with the, with the handle. Super convenient. I did fill it full of wine yesterday to see how many it would hold and it held 14 and I was able to wheel it back to where my wine goes away after so it can hold quite a bit. I definitely, well I could, I did like pick it up and like move it over but it was definitely very heavy and not something that I would be like oh yeah fill it that full and carry it around but with the wheels it definitely made it easy for me to move it back to where it goes which made it easy. I didn't have to like carry the wine bottles two at a time. So I liked that. And then you can just tuck the handle away and you can just pop it on your shoulder if maybe it's not quite so heavy anymore once all your bottles are empty, right? I'll give you a look at the inside. And so just like, just like the other one, this one also has a leak box so you can add ice directly to it. And it is very big. It's hard to show because it likes to be closed, this one. And also, there's like all this, it's not very opened yet, it hasn't been used, and it's just not used to being open. But it is big, it has a lot of space in there. Definitely larger than the Fresh Market. I would say that it's the same width as the Fresh Market, and then it's just taller. Which is nice, because that is like the one thing about the Fresh Market, is that fitting of taller items, like pizza boxes and stuff like that, I have to extend it. And it would just be nice if it was just a bit taller. So there you go. Look at the roller thermal. There's the handle tucked away at the back there. Super cute. Definitely love it. If you host a party, that is definitely one of the, the ones I would suggest getting. The other option when you host a party, you can also get two of the Your Way cubes. And so if you are over a thousand, you get two of them for free. If not, you get two for the price of one. So I did grab those. I just have one to show you, but I grabbed them in the Mystic Gray. So here I can show you the size. These things are huge. Look at that. You can fit so much stuff in there. And then they do have the peekaboo window on the one side and then not on the other. So you can decide which side you want facing out. Whether the stuff in there is kind of cute or you need to like know what's in here. Or you can like have it this way and have it look nice and you don't know what kind of mess is in here. <laughs> I'm a mom. I know it's what the inside of most of these boxes look like. It's not usually pretty. And I do also have the lid for it. So this doesn't come together. You have to buy the lid separately. I'll pop it on there and give you guys a look. Yeah. The cube's not sitting straight. There we go. That's difficult. There you go. And then with the lid on, you can stack them, which is great for like maybe you have like a tall area at the top of your closet and you can stack them, especially with the rectangles. The rectangles are, are shorter. So if you wanted to stack those up there, that too, just great, depending on your space, of course, right? But super cute. And that's definitely a great deal um, when you do the, the hosting, getting the two of them for the price of one if you are organizing a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> and we have some really cute prints. I, of course, went neutral because as I mentioned before, I just like to have all my house stuff to be kind of neutrally and that way I don't have to worry about my decor changing or whatever. 
Anywho, that is all I have to show you this afternoon. I hope that you loved it all. I'm so excited to get to use some of this and then I'll try to take some pictures as I'm using it and share those as well so you can see what I think of it once I'm using it. Let me know which purse I need to start with. Let me show them one more time. So I have the Step Up Tote and I have the Window Shopper. And also there's my wallet. So I have the Step Up Tote with my gorgeous peaches Benjamin. And then I have the Window Shopper LTD with its matching Benjamin here. Which one should I start with? I'm definitely going to be using both of these this spring and summer, but which one should I go with first? Window shopper, step up tote. Let me know what you think. I'm going to be taking, taking votes here and I'm going to go with whatever you guys decide. So let me know which one I should pick. See you guys later.